tired of watching boring old press releases, then you've come to the right place, the right channel, the number one channel for CEO interviews and company overviews. Welcome to Rich TV Live. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the like button on our videos to help with the YouTube algorithm. For more information and in-depth discussions and analysis, join our trading club at richpigsdaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get alerted when our next CEO interview is released so you can discover the next 10 bagger. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Tim, the CEO of Sokimon Minerals Corp. How are you doing today, Tim? I'm doing just fine. How are you? Very good. Excited to speak with you again today. We've spoken before. Actually, we were speaking earlier in the conference on February of 2020. Uh, before the world got really weird, there was a conference and we got a chance to speak and and your stock has done quite well since then. You're up about over a thousand percent. So uh, why don't we start by you telling us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Sokimon Minerals Corp. Well, um, we're a very tight knit community here in, in Newfoundland. And um, uh, of course, we've worked for each other in the past. Uh, the principles that founded this company uh, it started out life actually as a different named company. It was Golden Dory Resources. Uh, I wasn't a founder, but uh, when Kevin and Steve and, and the rest of the directors uh, uh, approached me, they needed a VP exploration. And this is back, uh, oh, must be over 12 or 13 years ago now. Um, I jumped at the opportunity. I just happened to be in between positions myself and uh, you know, the opportunity to work with, you know, uh, people that I've worked closely with and, uh, you know, idolized even, you know, Kevin's dad, Alan is, you know, he's, he's found mines. I mean, this, this family has found mine. So, you know, the oh. chance to hook your wagon up to these guys was uh, a chance of a lifetime. And, uh, you know, I started out as VP exploration and, you know, over time uh, I moved into the uh, position of CEO where I, where I, where I am now. And, uh, you know, I've, I'm, I'm, I think I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Uh, I'm actually sitting um, in the apartment in the town of Grand Falls where I was born and raised. And our flagship Moosehead project is 15 minutes drive down the highway. I mean, that's, wow. this, is how, this is how this has come full circle. I mean, you know, geologists spend their whole lives and careers just chasing, you know, the dream around the planet and uh, to have the opportunity to come home full circle. Uh, it's a dream come true, really. And, and to have a project like this and the support you know, from our team, from our shareholders, it's just phenomenal. Yeah, congr congratulations on all your success. If there was one thing that you would want investors to know about Sokomon Minerals today, what would that be? Well, I think, you know, I think the best is yet to come for us. And I know, uh, you know, following the heels of your comment on, you know, we're up a thousand percent or something uh, in a year, uh, I think there's still room to grow here. I mean, we're, we're certainly well-funded. We've got, you know, our flagship project Moosehead, you know, uh, continues to deliver, you know, superior grade assay results with every phase we've drilled so far. And as well with an alliance we've just formed with a, with a company called Benton Resources uh, run by Stephen Stairs. You know, we just acquired three district scale projects, uh, again, all in Newfoundland for basically staking costs that we feel could be yielding, yielding the next one. So wow. you know, with, our, with our treasury now at $15 million, Estimated expenditures for the rest of 2021 at somewhere between seven and maybe eight million dollars. I mean, we're still, you know, have lots of gas in the tank to advance, you know, even the newer projects, you know, maybe a, a second level this year. Although it will be tight based on the, you know, amount of manpower we have and, and what's available. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think the best is yet to come for Sakaman, really. That's great. Can you tell us what the company's main goals are for 2021? And will most of the focus still be on your flagship Moosehead project? Yes, clearly. Uh, we will. Uh, we're in the middle now. Well, not the middle, but we've drilled about 15,000 meters of our phase six 50,000 meter program at Moosehead. Um, we're currently sitting with two drills. We hope to have a barge based program starting sometime later this summer. Um, again, it's a trying time in the business right now. You know, uh, machines and people are very, very hard to come by. So timelines are getting a little sketchy at, 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 at present, but you know, 
uh, we'll get to we'll get the meter. It's drilled one way or the other. Supposing it takes a little longer with with uh, with a drill or two less, but you know uh, we do feel that you know we'll get this done comfortably, and at the same time you know make a new discovery or two, not just on Moosehead, but as well maybe an early stage discovery on one of our three new exciting projects that we have currently with uh, with Benton. So uh, uh, there's a lot to look forward to uh, from this company in the next uh, six to eight months. Can we dwell a little bit more on your recently announced JV, which you just mentioned with Benton Resources, uh, which our community actually knows very well. Do you have big hopes for the three newly acquired projects in Newfoundland, which you mentioned a little bit, and is there any work planned on them for this year? Uh, well, yes, I will answer your second question first. Um, we do plan on, uh, well, basically doing the, the paperwork, compiling all the historical data. These three projects sit in, in geographic and well geologically different sort of settings they're not all chasing the same sort of target although ultimately they are all gold projects they're just chasing different styles of gold mineralization and we expect to start an airborne survey once all permits are in hand within the next four to six weeks uh, depending on aircraft availability so you know we'll have our first year commitment certainly well in hand and hopefully results back from not just the airborne but as well as our ongoing data collection you know, to, uh, to start a ground-based program, you know, before, before the fourth quarter starts this year. So, um, you know, they're, they're large projects. So, I mean, it's going to take an effort, but we feel that with, uh, with our combined resources, and again, we're sharing the risk, sharing the reward too, uh, but as well, it's, it's easier with the support of, you know, a great company like Benton, you know, to, to move these projects forward. And, uh, you know, I, I'm really expecting us to come up with something. It may, it may not hear, you know, news on discovery in the next couple of months, but certainly uh, going forward, uh, I mean, we stake these projects for reasons. I mean, they sit on major gold bearing structures uh, in Newfoundland. The opportunities were sitting there and we said, why let someone else come in and, and, and stake up our backyard, you know, when we know this area so well. So uh, we're very pleased with the results. We will be putting out further updates on these projects as we, as we gain more knowledge about them, about the hidden details that are buried in the files. So, um, you know, look forward to some uh, very interesting news releases coming out uh, periodically on, on all three of these projects. Uh, by the way, Golden Hope is uh, one, Kep and Keck is the second, and uh, Gray River is, is the third project for those that were looking for names. Uh, we have addressed them in a, in a previous press release. Fantastic. Now, you have two gold projects in the central Newfoundland gold belt, the East Alder and the Crippleback Lake, that you have recently optioned to other exploration companies. What does that mean for Sokoman, and do you view these agreements as beneficial for the company? Well, yes, to all of those questions. Um, they were predecessor properties to us acquiring the Moosehead project. So when we went all in basically back in 2018, early 2018 and acquired Moosehead, you know, they unfortunately had to take a little bit of a backseat, even though they were, you know, they're, they're basically in, in the belt. Uh, they're, they're basically halfway or closer than halfway in some cases to, uh, to Marathon Gold's, you know, five, five, I think they've got five million ounces there now, but uh, maybe soon we'll hear something on that. But, you know, certainly a mine in, in the future. And so they're, they're perfectly positioned. Uh, they're, they're sitting right on the major structure. But we weren't doing them justice because of our focus on, on Moosehead. And then when you know, the opportunities came to acquire, you know, district scale projects. I mean, the other two, uh, East Alder is, is a 30 claim project and uh, Crippleback Lake is 121 claims. So, so they're, they're modestly smaller and, uh, you know, we really weren't focusing on them the way we should. So in this market, we decided to avail of strong interest in Newfoundland, acquire, you know, uh, stock in a couple of very hungry, you know, aggressive juniors and uh, you know, let our shareholders benefit from the properties being advanced uh, on someone else's tab, while also you know getting hopefully appreciation through the stock that we'll get as uh, as payments for for optioning these properties. So they're they're still very important properties to to Sockerman and our shareholders, but we just weren't doing them justice. So this way, at least, they'll get a fair shot in a very hot market. One of the biggest investors in mining companies in Canada is Eric Sprott, and he's known for silver, but he owns more than 25% of the stock of Sokomon Minerals. And is it true that this is his first major investment into Newfoundland gold exploration? 
Well, I would say we were certainly one of the first. Uh, I'd wow. like to think we were the first. Wow. Um, I know he has uh, positions in other companies that he may have had you know, prior to, to 2018. But if we're not first, we're certainly second, I would think. And you know what? That, that's, that's a real shot in the arm. And uh, you know, he's been there for us pretty well every other step of the way. Every financing we've done, maybe except one or two small ones, you know, he's been there. And you know, wow. he, uh, you know, he, he really uh, thinks Newfoundland is the place to be. And, and I agree with him. And in fact, uh, when we do chat, I keep reminding him that I think Newfoundland is right now where Timmins was in 1910. You know, wow. dawn of, you know, our, our golden age here in Newfoundland is just beginning. And I firmly believe that, you know, and I think, you know, over time, uh, you'll see other discoveries. I mean, not just the, the work that we're doing in Newfound, but, uh, you know, other companies in this belt. Um, because I know this area. I mean, you know, I grew up here. I, I know the history of this area. You know, uh, land was always tied up. and You didn't always have the opportunity to get, you know, some of the properties that maybe you wanted to get because they weren't available. But you know what? I have stood on a lot of them and several of them I know will produce results. And I think we're starting to see signs of that from some of the other players here. And, and it's all good because, you know, the more discoveries that are made, I mean, there's nothing worse than a one hit wonder, you know, or a one camp wonder sort of thing. You know, uh, we need more discoveries and, uh, you know, I think more will come. And uh, I think we'll be part of the team, part of the parade as well uh, with, with, with other discoveries, uh, you know, uh, coming down the road. That's great. Now, if Sokomon Minerals were to compare itself to other industry players in the region, where would you say you guys compare and what would set you apart? Well, I think I'll start with what sets us apart, um, you know, certainly in terms of market cap, um, you know, there's a big gap between us and the elephant in the room, which of course everybody knows is NFG. And, you know, they've done a lot of good work. They've, they've certainly pulled some really good holes uh, and, you know, they, they deserve, you know, all the accolades uh, that they've, they've received. And, uh, um, you know, our market cap has been the source of a little bit of um, uh, criticism, uh, or I don't know about criticism, but, you know, has been a bit of a sore point for us because, you know, we do feel that based on Results, and this is where I think we do compare with Newfound. Uh, you know, uh, pound for pound, you know, yes, they've got a couple of stellar intercepts. And uh, in fact, someone sent me a, a chart today of, of uh, intercepts, best intercepts of, in, in Newfoundland. Uh, I'm not sure of the time frame, but uh, you know, Newfound is number one, and we are number two. So you know, um, if that puts us second in the race in terms of you know uh, one of the main metrics that a lot of people use when they value gold projects is the gram meters, which is basically the gold intersection in, in terms of its thickness times its grade. And you know we've got you know we, we've got almost you know uh, uh, double digits numbers of holes you know with with uh, gram meters greater than a hundred, and you know uh, there aren't too many companies around that that can say that. So you know you know. I think our market cap deserves to be higher, even though we're finishing today, I think with a 52 week, probably an all time high. I think I still think there's lots of room to grow and, and we deserve it. Uh, you know, not that I'm saying anyone else is overvalued. I'm just saying, you know, based on results, if you stack theirs up against ours, I think most people would agree that, you know, we should have a, a higher market cap. And uh, that's my goal. <laughs> well, that's a great goal as a CEO. We're yeah. going to have investors from all over the world that will see this interview today. What is the best way for them to get in contact with the company? Well, um, every press release, I put my email address and my telephone number on. I make myself very accessible uh, because I think it's important not just to get the, the spin uh, on a story which you often get from from IR, uh, not not criticizing IR at all, but you know a lot of people want to know technical stuff. So you know, I love talking geology. I mean, you know, I come home from the PDAC. You know, when when we used to go to the PDAC, remember that? Yeah. And uh, and, and of course, you know, the roundup in Vancouver, and I, I couldn't speak because you know I was just you know yak 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 all the time because I love talking about rocks, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I put my name and number there as well as our corporate vice president, Cassie Hume, right, in Toronto. Uh, you know, she's a brilliant lady and I'm very honored to have her on my board and her team have done a phenomenal job. And I think the recent, you know, run up in the stock is in no small part to the efforts that, uh, you know, our, our team, our, our team, sorry, uh, have put forth on, on, on shareholders' behalf. And I'm very proud of them. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Tim Frude, the CEO of Sokomon Minerals Corp. If you guys like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. 
Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Thank you for your time today, Tim. Thank you very much for having me. And uh, let's hope for another thousand percent uh, in a year or less, maybe. <laughs> that would be phenomenal. Keep up your great work. And we look forward to talking thank to you, you soon. Very much. It means a lot. It means a lot. Always a pleasure. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.